Welcome, dear grade 12 students, to this video, which is about writing, module 2b, student book page 33, and workbook pages 24 to 26. And the objectives uh, of this video are, number one, uh, we are going to develop the given aspects about a compare and a contrast topic. The second one is to plan and write a compare and contrast essay about self-study and group study. Please go to exercise D, uh, read the writing task. This is the writing task and underline the key words. Then answer the three questions uh, that follow. OK, so pause, take three or four minutes. And once you have finished, please follow. Uh, done. Let's check some key words used in the writing task. This uh, writing task is about studying alone versus studying in a group. So this is the topic of discussion in this writing task. Uh, what have you been requested to do? Uh, some people prefer to study alone, while others believe that studying in a group is more effective. Write an essay. This is what you are requested to do. Write an essay, comparing and contrasting these two study methods. And you are also requested to give examples in order to support your argument. How about the style of writing? Your style should be formal and you should be objective. You should stay on the topic all the time. Don't be subjective. Don't write about yourself. Don't use the first person pronoun I. Stay neutral. Uh, don't express your personal opinion or emotions. And the style also uh, should be expository which means you should give explanations with examples uh, in order to give a justification to the main idea being discussed. The most important stage in writing an essay is the stage of looking for or brainstorming for the aspects the ideas you are going to write about and develop into uh, paragraphs to write the whole essay. In this exercise, the writer has given us six aspects and some keywords. What you are asked to do here is to give extra keywords. Again, you are training your mind uh, to create, to brainstorm for extra keywords and ideas in order to use them in the writing process. So stop here, uh, take three minutes, uh, try to think of extra keywords and then follow for uh, clarification. Okay, now concerning the element of efficiency, uh, which style of learning is more efficient uh, concerning time management concerning um, the idea of no distraction, sharing knowledge, clarification. You still remember that we are going to write about uh, group study and studying alone. So if you are studying alone, you can manage your time better. There is no distraction. But if you are studying in a group, you can share knowledge. You can ask for clarification either from the teacher or a colleague, right? Which one is convenient, the idea of convenience? Which one has flexible schedule or schedule as in American English? Okay, which one um, has a flexibility, practicality? Uh, which environment is better for you? Which one is uh, better concerning the location as for the skills developed? You can develop the skill of problem solving uh, when you are studying alone or in a group. 
uh, negotiating is better developed in a group study. For example, communication, working in a team, okay? Concerning the subject matter, you can learn factual information, you can memorize things, you can learn concepts or process when, if you are studying alone or if you are studying in a group. The style, your style of learning, is your hearing sense um, stronger? Are you auditory? Uh, can you learn better if you see uh, things? Then you are visual. If you move here and there, if you are kinesthetic, if you are in a society, if you are social, if you are studying alone, which means you are solitary or solitary, as in American English, uh, can you um, learn ling languages uh, better and faster? You are linguistic. How about uh, motivation? Which environment is supportive to you? Which environment can inspire you? Uh, which learning style can help you put things off? Okay, which style of learning um, can help you um, make use of team effort, etc. Now, we are going to choose only three aspects to develop in the main body, and then we are going to present a model, okay, and I let you develop the other aspects in a similar essay by yourself, okay? Let me remind you of these tips before writing the essay. When writing a compare and contrast essay, write an introduction in which you paraphrase the question and clearly tells your uh, reader what the essay will be about. Organize your essay into paragraphs, each with a separate idea. Uh, use topic sentences to introduce the aspect or the central idea of each paragraph. Uh, expand your ideas by explaining them clearly and by providing examples. Use a formal style, use linking words and comparative structures. And in the conclusion, you summarize the points you raised and conclude by making a general statement. If you open your workbook on page 24, you will find the writing plan. In the writing plan, simply we are going to write in brief what we are going to write in detail in the essay itself. In the introduction, we write what um, are we going to compare. Indeed, we are going to compare studying alone and the studying in group. And then we are going to write the main aspects of uh, comparing and contrasting, which are efficiency, convenience, skills development. And then I'm going to write them again in front of each heading right here, point of comparison, right? And then I write uh, short notes uh, concerning uh, points of similarities and differences like this. Okay, and in the conclusion, a short summary and then a general uh, statement to leave an effect on the reader like this. Uh, both self-study and group study are useful in some aspects, but students should think of their personal needs and interests. This is a quick reminder of the writing task. Some people prefer to study alone, while others believe that uh, studying in a group is more effective. You are requested to write an essay comparing and contrasting these study methods. Don't forget to use examples to support your arguments. And here I'm presenting a model for you to study carefully in order to be able to create your own essay afterwards, as we have agreed before. So pause for two minutes, study this introduction, and try to identify the components of it. And once you have finished, please follow. Okay, done. You are asked to identify uh, the general um, statement introducing the topic. Here is the general statement. Studying is an important part of the learning process. How about the two things you are going to compare and contrast? 
Here they are, group study versus studying alone. And the three aspects of comparison are efficiency, convenience, and skills. Right? Let's continue. This is uh, the main body, the first main body paragraph in which we are going to handle aspect number one. Please uh, pause, take your time to read it and try to identify its components, especially the topic sentence and the justification and whether the writer has used linkers to express contrast and whether there are some comparative structures or not. And once you have finished, please follow. Both self-study and group study may be efficient study options. This is the topic sentence. As we have agreed in a previous uh, video, the first sentence in each of the, many of the main body paragraphs is called the topic sentence. And what follows the topic sentence is called the justification. So here, when studying alone, students have more control over how quickly or slowly they cover material. This is the first justification. This allows them to focus their attention on areas of difficulty and scan over topics which they feel confident about. Conversely, Conversely is used to express contrast, that's right. Group study may provide learners with the opportunity to cover a wider range of topics more quickly by assigning each person in the group something to focus on and then asking them to teach the rest of the group. And this is another justification. And the competitive structures are very clear right here, more control over, wider range, more quickly. Okay, done. Let's continue. Uh, do the same right here, pause, to read this paragraph and identify the topic sentence, which is very easy now. The justification, which is much easier. The linking phrase used for giving examples. Uh, other li linkers used to express contrast. And once you have finished, please follow me. Another point of comparison is that of convenience or ease. This is the topic sentence. Uh, Self-study provides greater flexibility in terms of time and location than group study. This is the justification. Greater than is a comparative structure also. For instance, this phrase is used to give examples. For instance or for example, if you study alone, you can study late at night or on the train. In contrast, in contrast is a phrase used to express contrast. In contrast group, study must be organized around students schedules or schedules as in British English and locations. While group study may be practical for those living on a university campus, it's far less convenient for those using distance learning platforms. This uh, structure is also a comparative uh, structure. Okay, done. Let's continue. We are going to do the same here. Uh, pause and do exactly as we have done before and then follow. Okay, finally, this is a linker used to introduce the last item of a list. Both self-study and group study develop unique skills. This is the topic sentence and this exactly the word skills is the main aspect or the main idea. Students who choose to work alone must work through difficulties of their own, which can develop problem solving skills. Moreover, this linker is used to add more ideas. Okay. 
uh, self-study requires greater self-discipline than group study. Here you are, a comparative structure greater than. So self-study requires greater self-discipline than group study because there is no one else to motivate you. In contrast, by studying in groups, students improve their ability to work as part of a team and develop negotiating skills. Okay, let's continue. The last paragraph is the conclusion. Uh, please pause, read it, and identify the appropriate linker, uh, which is very easy right here. Uh, the summary of the comparisons you have made and the general statement that leaves a lasting impression on the reader, which uh, is also very easy. In conclusion, this is the linker. Both group study and self-study can be efficient study methods. This is the comparison I have made between the two learning styles. Uh, students, and this is the general statement, students who are considering different study techniques should take into consideration their personal needs in terms of convenience and skills development. Okay. Now it's your turn with the same writing task and technique of the given model. Use the other three aspects to write your own essay. This is a reminder of the writing task. And here you are the three aspects you are going to use in writing the essay. Do your best, review the model, then write your own one. Once you have finished writing your essay, uh, please uh, check your work using this checklist, which is in the workbook, page 26. Tick here if you have done the instructions or the items right here. I read and followed the instructions in the rubric carefully. Okay, I did some research on the two study approaches I'm comparing in order to look for an ideas or aspects. I noted, I wrote uh, the similarities or differences between the approaches. Okay, as for the format, the organization of the essay, I organized my text into paragraphs, including an introduction and conclusion. I followed the suggestions in the plan for what to include in the different paragraphs of the article. As for the content, I made sure to discuss both approaches in each main body paragraph. I employed comparative forms or adjectives using more or less convenient, for example, and other forms of comparison such as uh, as plus adjective or adverb and as. I used formal linking words or phrases to connect ideas. I avoided using contractions and other features of informal writing. And then for the revision, I um, corrected my grammar and spelling and punctuations. I made sure that my writing can be read easily, which means the readability of the essay. If you have done all these things, you are more than excellent. Thank you so much for watching this video, which will be available on Microsoft Teams.